That's fine. It'll get, definitely get to him. <laughs> so, yes, but in your other life... I want to be a famous artist. You want to be a famous artist. Well, you're, you're on the right track. Well done, Chica. Let me know if you get a response. Yeah. <laughs> Who made the crane? You did. In your other life. Your cheese, why? Oh, you brought it. With, did you make it? No. Did you come prepared? Are you happen to have a crane in your pocket? Okay. Did, but did you bring it special, specifically? Yeah. To cheat, you thought I'm going. I'm going out for a pint. I'm going to Panty Bar. I shall. I shall cheat. And, but and, but you made it yourself. Using an instruction you found on the internet. Online. Online. It's a fabulous resource. You should all get the internet. <laughs> ah, here. Oh. Who made this? She's gone. It's a Bollywood movie star. It's a Bollywood elephant. You were thrown me by calling it a star. Is this yours, George? <laughs> In your other life, you're skinny. Aww. And this here is um, goes by the name of Chocolat, Legato Chocolat, and he is um, one of the star performers in La Clique, which is running in the Spiegel tent all this week. Until when? Sunday. Until Sunday. He's also he was one of the big hits of the Electric Picnic. He's also a charming and delightful young man, and he's performing here on Thursday night of my show, aren't you, Bella? <laughs> Who made this one? Because I suspect it's actually a story, and it's not just a piece of crap. <laughs> oh, it's a piece of crap. It started off as a car that I figured an audience would be easier to make. I'd like to make another country life better. Whoa, whoa, go back. This started off as a car. <laughs> And then you figure an island would be easier to make. Yeah. Okay. Uh, You'd like to live in a nice island. Not that one, because that's not a real one. It's a crap. But you do live on an island. <laughs> a nice one. You mean one with good weather? Okay. Oh, Who made this one? Do I care? Do I care? I'll let you decide. I care? Okay. Who made this one? You did. Tell me about it. <laughs> now do I care? Do I still care? I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh. Who made this one? You did. I was sure this was going to be the work of a lesbian, and it's not. In your other life, you're a Playboy bunny? Anyone in particular? Which one? Kendra is the only one you know. You think this looks like Miss Piggy? I think it's a bit more like a mandal of whore than Miss Piggy, all right. I'm just saying that to make you feel better. Do you? What's wrong? You're back in college. You're back in college. Oh, it's awful hard for them, isn't it? Wait till you have a real job. Wait till you're a giant pig dog man woman. Who made this one? Has he gone home? Good. Is <laughs> I was thinking. Bronx? Bronx? Oh, Bronson! Who made, who made this one? Has he gone as well? Wow, all these people have to get the last one. Who made it? You did. What is it? Bronson Boy. Who's Bronson Boy? The most expensive what? Prisoner? They made a movie about it. Oh, it's a film. It's a film. Is it a film? He gets naked in fights. I love him already. Why haven't I seen this movie? And he's the most expensive prisoner. What does that mean? You can buy prisoners now? Why haven't anyone told me? Oh, we've already seen that one. This is conceptual. Who made this one? You did. 
Um, in my other life, I'm a fighter, not a lover. Oh. <laughs> because in this life, you're a lover and not a fighter? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fight? A proper physical fight against another boy? Never. You won't even, you fought your sister. Your mother! Who won? You did. Oh my god, did, did, you, did you hurt her? Okay, where she, <laughs> not physically, but you hurt her deep inside. Has she forgiven you? Really? How long ago was this? Two years ago. Wow. Was it over the gay thing? Is she fine with the gay thing? Totally fine with the gay thing. What was the fight about? About your father. So it was about the gay thing. <laughs> Is your father still around? Is he fine with the gay thing? Wow, so what was the fight over? Oh, he left. And is he still gone or did he come back? He's around. Oh, he's around. Does he have another whore? Two! Wow. I think I know your dad. And who made these ones? You did. What are these ones? Oh, this is... You can be anything you want to be with your life. You're young, you have your whole life ahead of you. You're determined to make the most of it and be whatever you want to be. That's... It is a coping mechanism. Well done, Chicken, because the truth is you can't be whatever you want to be. Life isn't fair like that. I mean, you may want to be a constant penis, but I suspect you're never going to be one, no matter how hard you try. Yeah. And we'll do this last one. Who made this one? You did. Oh, okay then. Well, this is the last decent one. <laughs> okay, we'll go back to it. You're your special one. I I'm talking to this young gentleman here. Yes? <laughs> it's a gay astronaut Jesus. Because that's what you are in another life. Oh, this is the sun. And this is gay astronaut Jesus on his way to the sun. Oh, he's on Mars. Oh, of course, he's on Mars, the red planet. How could I have mistaken that? And are you particularly interested in astronauts or Jesus or homosexuality? A little bit of all. It's, it's, a, it's a melange. It's a melange. And is this... The one that we missed? Okay. Would you like to tell me about it, Clinton? It's a carry baby! <laughs> one of the, the carry babies? You were too young to remember. We even know what that a reference to. And what was her name? What was her name? <laughs> It's a carry baby, and in another life you're a carry baby. Yes. Oh God, what are the carry babies? It was like back in the 1980s, they found a dead baby washed up on a beach. I, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna grab for you know, the details here. They found a dead baby washed up on the beach, and they decided that it had been killed by this woman with uh, knitting needles. But then maybe that isn't what had happened, and it all became this huge big thing, and it was a big deal at the time. I can't remember. Oh, there was some weird thing about it. They decide that she was pregnant by two men at the same time. There was like some weird horrible thing. Basically, they ever tried to say that this woman was a slut who was filled with semen. And it was the Yes, they did. They find another baby, and they found it. It became very confusing, but it was important at the time. It was like one of those horrible stories, like in the style of Anne Lovett, the poor girl who gets birth in the graveyard. It was a horrible 1980s, dark ages kind of story, and you're better off not knowing. But I'm sure if you 